A tornado recovery effort has, re has moved from an immediate emergency to what is now called a long-term project. And elected leaders are calling now for extra resources, resources from the federal government to help impacted areas. CBS 42's Mike McClanahan is in our newsroom tonight with more on this. Mike. What's the difference between an emergency and a disaster? A lot of federal funding. The governor is now asking the president to declare what happened in Alabama a major disaster. That would make more help available for people with storm damage. U.S. Congresswoman Terry Sewell and State EMA Director Art Faulkner toured the devastation in Bessemer this morning. Sewell says seeing it in person will help them make a stronger case to Washington that the federal government should help storm survivors get back on their feet. We are working to get uh, this, uh, this area declared a major disaster so that we can get individual assistance as well as public assistance. The state EMA director says they are still assessing storm damage and they're tackling the hardest hit counties first. We will continue to work throughout the state because we've still got areas of the state that's flooded from the torrential rains in South Alabama. Bessemer Mayor Kenneth Gully tells us crews have removed about 90 percent of the debris from the streets in hard-hit parts of Bessemer. They have a long way to go, but they are bringing in all the available resources at their disposal. And I would like to thank uh, uh, all of the volunteers. I'd like to thank all of the citizens for your resilience. We know uh, that the major blessing is that we had no loss of lives, we had no major injuries, and the rest of it, with the help of the Almighty God, we know that we can get through. Places like Bessemer need help now, but the state EMA director says even if the president declares Alabama a major disaster area, federal relief funds won't be available right away. That's why he says it's so important to have groups like the American Red Cross to help people bridge that gap. Back to you.